So in this first preparation technique, this is actually called the squash technique in a lot of the textbooks, which I don't love that name because really you don't want to be squashing anything, right? <laughs> um, you want just to evenly distribute the cells into a monolayer. So I just call it gentle smearing. <clears throat> and the key there is gentle, but we'll get to that. So you take your second slide and you can either do it par uh, parallel or perpendicular. Um, I've noticed that when you do it parallel, this is physics, but it your slides can tend to get suctioned together and that can cause some friction and can cause cells to break. So I like to do it perpendicular. And what you're gonna do is you're just going to put the second slide onto the sample and just gently move it across. Now, the key again is gentle. So you don't want to put any excessive downward pressure onto that sample. Um, you don't want to like press down and you know crunch across. Just let the weight of that top slide do the smearing for you. Um, and so what you end up with is this really beautiful preparation. I'm trying to see how I can <laughs> highlight it so you can see. And you get this smear here that's um, you know nice and in the center of the slide and it's a good amount of material it's not just like covering the entire slide and um you know then you let that dry if you feel like you've gotten too much sample on there you can take another slide and just do it smear it again and then it'll distribute it off on a, uh, a couple different slides so this technique really is in my experience the most reliably diagnostic technique because it gives you a really nice monolayer of cells and some people will say, well, I really get a lot of excessive lysis with that technique. I always rupture my cells. Well, any sample is going to be prone to some cellular lysis, but what we don't want is, ex is excessive cellular lysis, so too many cells being ruptured. And one of the biggest things that you can do to try to help prevent that is, again, just don't press down really hard when you're smearing that sample. Another thing you can do to help ex prevent excessive lysis is when you're expelling the contents onto your slide, get close to the slide. Don't be like way out here on the moon <laughs> trying to expel your contents on there. And just use the amount of force you need to get the sample onto the slide. Don't like, you know, go crazy with your plunger. Sometimes you do have to really push, but um, you know, keep it kind of close to the slide when you're expelling the contents on there. The less distance they have to travel, the less uh, likely they are to break. So that's a technique I would do for every FNA that you do.